today's Look North. A demonstration has been held in Sheffield this afternoon calling on the government to ensure there is no limit on the number of Afghanistan refugees resettled in the UK. 15,000 people have so far been flown out of the war-stricken country to the UK and local councils have been given £10,000 for every person they rehouse. David Rhodes reports now from Sheffield. Sheffield is known as a city of sanctuary a place historically that has welcomed refugees from around the world. This was a demonstration today, but also a focal point for people in Sheffield, and some feel frustrated that as yet they've not been able to aid Afghan refugees now arriving into the city. Uh, we don't know how to help people, in the sense there is no centralised thing. I tried to contact the council and said, what can we do? The UK has so far rescued 15,000 people from Afghanistan and attention is now turning to how those displaced people are rehoused in the UK. The north of England has historically housed more asylum seekers and refugees than other parts of the country. There are no figures as yet as to how many Afghan refugees have been resettled in Yorkshire and in the coming months there will be a debate about where Afghan refugees are housed. But people here in Sheffield today are adamant Afghans need our help now. So basically we're saying that in a city of sanctuary, and Sheffield was the first city of sanctuary, we should be welcoming refugees. We've seen now what it means to be a refugee. It doesn't matter how you arrive, when you're a refugee you're desperate and you should be welcomed. The government says for every Afghan refugee rehoused by a local authority in Yorkshire, that council will receive £10,000 per refugee. As the airlift draws to a close, the job of rehousing some of the most vulnerable people in the world is only now just beginning. David Rhodes, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Police are appealing.